Well, that was the day so far. Uh, we are coming to you live from the CNBC TV 18 Motorola Oswald Studios, and you're with us here on a new edition of Closing Bell. I'm Prashant. With me, my colleagues Reema and Surubi here in the studios. Nigel is joining us, as always, from the newsroom floor. Guys, hi, good afternoon. Uh, I mean, today is uh, a day where there is this impulse to buy the dip, but uh, more than the index, it is uh, making all the moves. And, uh, you know, there are at least three or four uh, almost near double digit uh, moves that we are seeing. There is IPCA, there is Crompton, there is uh, Zomato, which is seeing a big move uh, so there is a it's it's buoyant uh, some dip buying keeps coming back in although it's not a decisive move we're at about what 17 uh, almost 17 800 the previous high is about 60 points away 17 The bank nifty has already taken out its previous high and for that, uh, that index, the level to take out is uh, 42,966. Again, I mean, for an index at uh, 43,000 is not very much. Being broad market-based top-down is going to be single stock bottom-up. Rima, hi, Surabhi, hi. Uh, hi, uh, hi. Prashant, Surabhi and uh, Nigel. Actually, the Nifty just took out 17,800 about a few minutes back in the, in the last 30 minutes. Banks continue to power ahead. Uh, that's providing leadership. The Nifty Bank has rallied for this week. 5.5% so far this month. PSU banks have been outperforming with the PSU banking tax is down nearly a third of a percentage point. The Dow futures is currently lower by 140 points. We heard from UBS how their profits have fallen by more than 50%. So that's weighing on Europe. Uh, Anj Prashant earlier spoke about and we're just about 60 points away from that level. But all in all, mm -hmm. uh, the momentum on the way up seems to be very much intact still for the second day in a row. Oh yes, absolutely. And Prashant, I'll tell you what, well, words like momentum, movement, you know, upside uh, thrust for 15, 30, 30, 35 yeah. points, 40 points on the <laughs> Nifty because there were days where we had 0.00%. Uh, when uh, that... I think yesterday was the first day. Yesterday uh, was yesterday the first, first day, day we saw a move. Yeah, 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 we couldn't believe it actually. So <laughs> today we're getting a bit of a follow-up. Uh, HDFC AMC's numbers are coming in. Uh, is the only group on the Nifty that's uh, trending lower. This is, of course, reacting to numbers. HDFC Life, which is reporting tomorrow, HDFC Bank and HDFC itself. Those are the three big stocks that are down on the Nifty. Uh, talk about Reliance because what's happened is that it's that big, big move on that large cap stock that's helped things in the last half hour to one hour. That's the HDFC, HDFC group. That's the downside. Now let's talk about the upside RIL that we're witnessing right now. That club with the fact that anyway, financials have been very strong today. You leave out the HDFC group, but everything else on the financial screen has looked good. Bajaj Finance and ahead of the numbers. Tomorrow they report uh, that those are the two stocks that are up and about. Innocent Bank, again, the market has decided to read the glass as half full and not half empty, looking away from that rise in slippages towards a very smart, all-time high names, growth numbers, loan growth, etc. So, financials are doing well. Bharti, Airtel and Reliance have joined the party and the Nifty is feeling rather good. Nigel. Well, yeah, you know, in that uh, run-up to the show, we had a bit of a snippet that played out. And earlier today, I said, going by the data points, you know, if you get a bit of a dip, you have to buy it. And buy the dip has played out because of the strong data that we got yesterday. Today, actually, the Asian markets were quite subdued. And in the first hour of trade itself, the Nifty was down 30, 40 points from the day's high. If you bought that dip, you'll be quite happy because, you know, that was really what the screen was telling you. It is the, that sort of a day. Now, the mid-cap index will tell you, hey, the mid-cap index is underperforming today. But just take a look at the number of stocks that are advancing in comparison to the number of stocks that are declining. And you have way more winners than losers. So there are select stocks, as you all have been mentioning, that are doing quite well. But since we're tracking the index, let's focus on a couple of options data. 17,800 put for the second day running. It's seeing massive open interest build up. So clearly the bulls, they believe, you know, from that 17,550 to around 17,650, they believe this base of the market in the near term, we have expiry that plays out in the next couple of days. So they believe the base is, is trying to be moved higher. But today, the financial nifty services, that's the one that has its expiry playing out. And if you look at the 19,000 put, it's extremely active in today's trading session. Big surge is what we're seeing in terms of open interest. And going by the data points out there, the support zone, will be around 18,900 to around 18,950. 
Last 55 minutes, as we mentioned earlier today, the swing factor will come in from the Nifty Financial Services. The Nifty Bank is doing quite well. Can we end on a high? That's what will give the bulls a lot of ammunition because the shots getting into an expiry uh, day will be forced to cover out. But it's a good session and buying the dip really is playing out in today's session. We're 75 points off the day's low. Okay, most of the banks actually are doing uh, pretty well. So ICICI Bank, Indicent Bank also higher. The only ones which are flat today are the HDFC Bank uh, and the entire group. And that's because they rallied quite hard yesterday. So how should you position yourself?